Hello again in the How Do I Serious for Microsoft Dynamics NAV 2013 R2. My name is Vjekoslav Babic, I'm an MVP for Microsoft Dynamics NAV and I have created this video in cooperation with Platan. In this video I'll show how to create an advanced extensibility control that works in both NAV client for Windows and the web client. If you haven't watched it already, Please watch the How do I create a simple extensibility control video first. At the end of this video, we'll have Bing Maps control integrated into a page that works equally for both the Windows and the web client. The objective of this video is to show how to create an advanced extensibility interface which uses methods and events and how to implement this interface in JavaScript by implementing the same methods as declared uh, in the interface and raise the events declared in the interface. I'll do this in five steps. In the first step, I'll add methods and events to an interface. I have already prepared uh, Visual Studio projects which references the fr extensibility framework and declares the interface. Now I'm going to add some events and methods. So I'm going to add an event uh, that is going to be used to respond um, when the control add-in has been created, when it is actually ready to be used, and another event uh, which I'm going to use uh, to respond to situation when the map has actually been loaded. Um, then I'm going to have a method to load a map. I'm going to specify just the latitude and the longitude as uh, parameters. Um, then I'm going to create a method that shows the minimap. It will have one boolean parameter, which is just show. Uh, of course, uh, all of these methods and events must be visible. So I'm just going to declare attribute application visible and copy it and paste it to all of these uh, events and methods. This concludes the first step. In the second step, I'll build and deploy the assembly. I'll click build and then rebuild the solution. And uh, after rebuilding is complete, I'm just going to show the output window uh, to see the public key token. Uh, this concept is explained in the how do I create a simple extensibility control video. Uh, then I'm going to copy uh, my assembly into the add-in folders of my RTC client. So I'm going to uh, copy this DLL and then I'm going to navigate to Program Files and uh, Microsoft Dynamics NAV 7.1 Role Tailored Client Add-ins and I'm just going to paste uh, the DLL here. In the next step I'll implement the interface in the manifest file and prepare the resource file. I'll start with my manifest file and uh, I already have the uh, jQuery script. I need one more script to reference, which is the Bing Maps uh, API script. So I'm just going to paste uh, the URL. Um, now I have my uh, Bing Maps script reference. Then in the C data section, I'm going to actually implement uh, the methods declared in the interface. So uh, I'll start by uh, first uh, responding to document ready event. Uh, and then I'm just going to call uh, to actually start initializing my um, my control. So uh, here I'm responding to a document ready event by pr preparing a new function. Uh, in that function I'm simply going to initialize the uh, the Bing Maps uh, Bing Maps control using the Bing Maps API. So I'm just going to call a new method which is going to be called initialize map. I'm passing the control add-in ID of the control, which is going to be the parent to which I'm adding uh, my new control. So here I'm going to uh, have a new function, which is going to be called initialize map. It will receive control ID. And uh, I'm also going to need a variable where I'm going to store uh, my Bing, Bing Maps uh, control. So I'm going to call it map. It's going to be null by default. And here I'm just going to initialize it. So I'm creating a new instance of uh, the uh, Bing Maps control. So it's VE map. It receives one parameter which is the parent to which I'm adding it. And also I'm going to hide the scale bar. It's a method uh, on it. Uh, I'm also specifying that on load map I'm going to have another function that res responds to it. So when the map is loaded I'm simply going to call uh, an event, a far an event, which is an NAV extensibility event. So I'm 
calling invoke extensibility method and here I'm going to pass the method name as a parameter which is map loaded this corresponds to the event I declared in my uh, extensibility interface I also call uh, one more event so after this initialize map is finished uh, I'm also going to call another event which is the control add in ready event to let uh, nav uh, respond to the situation when the actual uh, Bing Maps control is loaded. Uh, also, uh, I'm now going to write the methods that I have, which are the load map method and show minimap methods. These methods will be called from nav to actually specify which uh, coordinates, which uh, latitude and longitude to uh, use in my uh, uh, in my big map and also show minimap to specify whether or not I'm showing or hiding the the minimap in my Bing map. So let me uh, implement the load map uh, function now. So I'm going to use my uh, map variable. Uh, I'm also going to use a new variable which is map options variable. Uh, I'm going to specify that I'm using black color for my dashboard and also I'm going to uh, disable the search logo, so I'm using the enable search logo uh, property, I'm setting it to false. And then I'm calling the load map function of the Bing Maps API. Uh, first it receives the uh, latitude and longitude, the coordinates, so I'm instantiating a new instance of lat long um, class. Uh, then I'm specifying one which is the zoom level uh, then I'm specifying uh, the style of the map, which is going to be bird's eye. Then I'm going to specify uh, whether the map is fixed, so it's not a fixed map. And then I'm specifying the, the map mode, which is going to be mode 2D. Uh, the next parameter is map mode switch. I'm setting it to true. And uh, the next parameter is going to be tile buffer. I'm setting it to uh, to empty, and then finally I'm specifying map options. I'm passing this uh, instance that I've instantiated earlier, and this is the load map. Then I'm going to write the show minimap function. Here in this function, depending on the parameter, I'm going to call show or hide minimap functions from the API. So if show, then I'm going to call map dot show minimap. Uh, else I'm going to call hide minimap. So this is my whole manifest. It includes uh, all the functions that have been declared in the interface, load map and uh, show minimap. And now I'm going to save the manifest and uh, create a resource file from the manifest. So I'm just using the manifest and right clicking it and send to compressed zipped folder and this is my resource file that I'm going to import in NAV. My next step is to register the control add-in and import the resource file. So in my control add-ins list I'm clicking new and I'm going to type the control add-in name. I'm actually going to copy the value of the control add-in export attribute. So I'm copying this and pasting this into the control add-in name field. So I'm pasting it and then I'm going to copy the public key token which I have in the output window. I'm also copying it and pasting it into the public key token field. So now my add-in is registered. Uh, next step is going to be to import the resource. So I'm clicking import and then manifest.zip. So I'm clicking open and my uh, resource file uh, is going to be successfully imported. In the last step I'll consume the control from a page object and test it to see how it actually works. I'll now create a new page. It's going to be a blank page of type card. Um, I'm going to assign a control one name to the content area Then I'm going to have a group for my uh, coordinates. Then I'm going to create two, um, two field controls for latitude and longitude. I'm going to use two variables of the same name, latitude and longitude for that. Uh, and also I'm going to have uh, one subgroup for showing a map. And here I'm going to have a Bing Maps control. I'm going to call it like that and it's going to be to have caption Bing Maps control. And then I'll specify properties. Uh, I'm going to specify the control add-in property 
and here from the list I'm going to select the Bing Map Control uh, control add-in. The next step is going to be uh, to write the code. So for that um, I'm accessing the CAL code. I will first have to declare my variables that I have uh, already uh, specified in the page as source expressions. So I'll have my latitude uh, of type decimal and my longitude of type decimal and then I'll have the uh, uh, minimap uh, variable which is going to be of type boolean. Uh, then I'm going to respond to the uh, control add-in ready event that is going to be erased from the JavaScript code. So here I'm actually uh, typing current page dot bing maps control and here I'm calling the load map uh, method uh, where I'm passing latitude and longitude uh, variables. And then also I'm going to specify the map loaded event which is also invoked from JavaScript and here I'm invoking show minimap so I'm calling show minimap and passing the minimap variable as the parameter. Then I'm going to initialize uh, latitude and longitude uh, variables to uh, coordinates of the Statue of Liberty. So uh, I have the coordinates written down already. So it's latitude 40 degrees and longitude is minus 74 degrees and 04444. Um, that's basically it. Now I'm going to save my page. Uh, it's going to be 50,001. I'll call it Bing Maps Demo. And then I'm saving it and closing the page designer. And then I'm going to run the page. So I'm finding it, clicking the Run button. And here is my Statue of Liberty. Um, this, this was the Windows client. Uh, it has actually shown the Bing Maps uh, as I have specified and now I'm going to show how it looks in the web client. So I'm starting the browser and I'm accessing the page. I'm clicking OK and here I will have my Bing Maps control loaded into my web browser page in the web client. That was all. I'm happy that you followed this short demonstration and I hope you enjoyed it. Please come back for more How Do I videos for Microsoft Dynamics NAV 2013 R2. Bye.